Happy Life, Chapter 173. Be kind and gracious, generating affinity and friendship. Don't delegate what yourself can handle. You have no right to overload those who work with you, demanding what lies beyond their possibilities. Even your employees deserve your consideration and respect. They work for you and get paid. But do more. Make them your friends. There are small, tedious tasks assigned to them that you yourself could handle without tiring yourself out or belittling your employees. Okay, so small acts of kindness that makes an entire difference in the world. Um, when we are looking at the quality of our lives, we need to look at the quality of our relating. If you are someone in a situation of any type of power or any possibility of improving people's lives, do so. And you can do so just by being conscious of these very small acts that Joana brings to our attention, such as, well, one of them is leading by example, right? Um, being the leader by actually doing, showing, um, demonstrating, and as she says, if it, is, if it is something that you can do, perhaps avoid delegating so that you don't overburden people who are already working very hard. So being conscious, being a team player in um, any situation where you're here talking about uh, work, but even at home, you know, it's a teamwork, right? So Perhaps that is something that you can do and your other family member already has a number of tasks and, and things that he or she is doing. So instead of just asking, try to do as much as you can yourself. Um, do your part. Don't push onto others things that they either cannot do or that will uh, burden them. So just, again, it's it seems like nothing but it does make a difference sometimes when we think about enlightenment when we think about um yes um you know what can i do what is my mission we 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 tend to think about big things but really it is the little things these very little things that perhaps no one sees no one is going to applaud that can make a huge difference on the quality of our lives and the happiness that we experience in the world today. So showing respect, showing consideration, being friendly, um, being playful, being joyful. People's lives are very, very difficult at times. Um, in the workplace, many times we are next to people and we don't know exactly all the burdens and all the struggles that they undergo in their personal lives. So you can be someone who can bring lightness to their lives, even if it's for the short period of time that you are with them. So there's so many different things, so many small gestures that can really, really impact someone's lives and make a difference. And in doing that, you create for yourself a world of like goodness, a world of like positivity, a world of like um, gratefulness. And, and just like good energy that is really powerful and can make a significant difference in, again, uh, the well-being that we experience and the happiness uh, that is possible in this um, stage of evolution that we are. I wish you a, a day filled with kindness and small loving acts that can make a difference in someone's lives and yours in first place.